Hi, in transform and conquer chapter, I already discussed heap and heap sort. Next, I will discuss balance sort tree. Balance sort tree is a binary tree whose nodes contain element of set of orderable items. Orderable item means it may be alphabet numbers, one element per node. So that all element in the left sub tree are smaller than the element in the sub tree's root, and all element in the right sub tree are greater than it. So left part are less than root, and right part are greater than root. So this transformation is an example of representation change. What is the advantage of doing this representation change? It is time complexity. Rather than straightforward array, if we are doing searching, insertion, and deletion in binary search tree, running time will be theta of log n. But that is only in best case and in average case. In worst case, it may be theta of n. Suppose this is a binary search tree. Now all left child are less than its parent. So this is a binary search tree, but height is 4. So searching, insertion and deletion can take time of theta of height as height is 4. So here time complexity is 4. So to avoid this worst case time efficiency, they come up with two approach. First approach is instant simplification variety means an unbalanced binary search tree is given that will transform into balanced one. So how we can transform this we can do by self balancing and ability record the difference between the height of the left and right sub tree of every node never exceed one means maximum difference in left sub tree and right sub tree will be one it's not exceed one while in red black tree it tolerate the height of one sub tree being twice as larger as the other sub tree means left sub tree may be twice as right sub tree or right sub tree may be twice as left sub tree and how we we'll do this self balancing that we can do by rotation in this section i will just discuss every tree so other tree that rebalance via rotation including red black tree and split tree can be found in data structure here i'll just discuss every tree so this is the first approach instant simplification variety an unbalanced binary search tree we are converting into balanced one by doing the rotation next is the representation change variety that allow more than one element in a single node like this is a single node here it will allow more than one element like five seven eight can be in one node so which tree belongs to this two three trees two three four trees and more general and important is b trees so these are belongs to this category like one node contain more than one element B trees is a part of database, 2, 3 trees and 2, 3, 4 trees, this is a part of data structure. They only differ how many elements can be present in a single node, but all are perfectly balanced. So this is all about balanced search tree. From this, I will just discuss Avial tree. Avial tree were invented in 1962 by two Russian scientists. G. M. Adelson Velsky and E. M. Landis, after whom this data structure is named. So, according to their last name, A. B. L. V. Tree name is Avial. An Avial tree is a binary search tree in which balance factor of every node. So, what is balance factor? That is the difference between the height of node in the left and right sub tree is either zero plus 1 or minus 1. So it should not exceed plus 1. It can be either 0, plus 1, minus 1. Let's see one example. There are two trees. One is a field tree, another is a binary search tree, but not a field tree. So the first one is a field tree. These numbers above the node are the balance factor. How to find it? Like for 4, its left subtree height is 1, right subtree 0, so 1 minus 0 is 1. Then for 7, its left subtree height is 0, no left child, right subtree height is 1. 
so 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 for 5 left subtree height is 2 right subtree height is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 for 20 left subtree height is 1 right subtree 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 then for 10 left subtree height is 3 right subtree height is 2 1 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 for every node balance factor is either 1 0 minus 1 so this is a alveol tree and left child value is less than parent and right child value is greater than parent now check the second tree here all left child are less than its parent and right child are greater than its parent so this is a binary search tree now check the avl property so we need to check the balance factor for 4 balance factor is 1 1 minus 0 for 7 it is minus 1 0 minus 1 for 5 2 minus 2 for 20 0 no left child no right child for 10 left subtree height is 1 2 3 right subtree height is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so due to this 2 as it exceed 1 so this tree is not a avl tree for avl tree it should be binary search tree and balance factor should be 0 plus 1 or minus 1 as its height is not balanced so this is not a avl tree it is a binary search tree so when we are inserting a new node the avl tree may be unbalanced we can transform the tree by rotation so when we will do rotation whenever the balance factor will become plus 2 or minus 2 we will do the rotation to balance the height if there are more than one node having balance factor plus 2 or minus 2 then we will do rotation on the node which is nearest to inserted leaf this is important if there are more than one node having balance factor plus 2 or minus 2 then we will balance we will do rotation on node which is nearest to the inserted leaf there are only four type of rotation in fact we can see two is mirror image of other two the first rotation is called as single right rotation or r rotation this rotation is performed after a new key is inserted into left subtree of left child of tree whose root had the balance factor plus one before insertion means before it was plus one now after after insertion it become plus 2 if we are inserting on left soft tree of root then we will do right rotation this is a example like before there was 3 and 2 for 3 balance factor is plus 1 for 2 balance factor is 0 now if we are inserting a node as a left child of 2 if we are inserting a node as left soft tree of root whose balance factor was plus 1 before insertion then we will do right rotation in case of right rotation we will rotate like this now 2 will become parent 3 will be its right child 1 will be its left child next is L rotation L rotation is a mirror image of R rotation if we are inserting to the right soft tree of root then we will do left rotation 1 2 and we are inserting a new node here then we will do left rotation so previously your balance factor was minus 1 your balance factor is 0 now after one node insertion this balance factor will be minus 2 so it is performed after a new key is inserted into a right soft tree of the right child of a tree whose root had the balance factor minus 1 before insertion so before insertion balance factor was minus 1 now after insertion balance factor become minus 2 then we will do left rotation so this is the example after L rotation now 2 will become parent this 1 will be left child and 3 will be right child so just remember if we are inserting on left soft tree then we will do R rotation if we are inserting on right soft tree then we will do L rotation 
In next lecture, I will discuss more to rotation and one complete example of AVL insertion. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.